Now, finally, Mr Deputy Speaker, we continue to see a rise in hospitalisations, although in line with the kinds of numbers we had anticipated at this point in our roadmap, the number of people needing hospital treatment for COVID-19 has doubled since the start of May. Admissions are most clearly increasing in the northeast and the southwest of England. So we've been boosting testing centres and vaccines in those areas and keeping a close watch on the numbers. Now, I spent my first day as Health Secretary just yesterday looking at the data and testing it to the limit. Whilst we decided not to bring forward step four, we see no reason to go beyond the 19th of July. Because, in truth, no date we choose comes with zero risk for COVID. We know we cannot simply eliminate it. We have to learn to live with it. We also know that people and businesses need certainty. So we want every step to be irreversible. And make no mistake, Mr Deputy Speaker, the restrictions on our freedoms, they must come to an end. We owe it to the British people who have sacrificed so much to restore their freedoms as quickly as we possibly can and not to wait a moment longer than we need to. So, Mr Deputy Speaker, with the numbers heading in the right direction, all while we protect more and more people each day, July the 19th remains our target date. The Prime Minister has called it our terminus date. For me, 19th July is not only the end of the line, but the start of an exciting new journey for our country. So, Mr Deputy Speaker, at this crucial moment in our fight back against this pandemic, we must keep our resolve and keep on our roadmap to freedom, so that together we can beat this pandemic and we can build back better. It is a task that I am deeply honoured to lead and one I know will succeed. I commend this statement to the House. Yeah.